Oprah's bombshell interview with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has been nominated for Outstanding Hosted Non-Fiction Series at this month's Emmy Awards. With guest numbers restricted, the Academy has given nominees the power to coordinate between themselves how they will allot their four tickets. Oprah must now choose whether she uses her three remaining tickets on Meghan and Harry, or her loyal production team who made the whole interview possible. An LA publicist told Mail Online, the Emmys has been effectively shrunk down to a bare minimum. The four-ticket allocation is a hard rule with the four invitees being decided by the show boss or leading star. For Harry and Meghan that means Oprah, who is the star and production boss, has the final say. She has a tough choice because there is a professional and personal list to invite. The Emmys usually has stars attend with agents, PRs, stylists, managers and loved ones. It is now a tough call for the talent on who they feel should be their plus one. And then another two. The source added that CBS who aired Winfrey's exclusive interview with the Sussexes and is streaming the Emmys, may try and bend the rules so Meghan and Harry can attend. The insider said, Harry and Meghan attending would be a huge deal for the broadcast. CBS are airing the show and putting it together with the Emmys. Obviously they have their own allocation of tickets, so they have the potential to bring in Harry and Meghan as comps for them. That remains an option but comes with all sorts of implications. It would upset other category nominees and talent who have agonizingly cut off loved ones from their invitee list for what would be the biggest night of their lives. Someone being allowed to ignore the rules would raise eyebrows and perhaps cause friction. It has been speculated whether Meghan and Harry will present an award at the ceremony. The 73rd Primetime Emmys will be broadcast on September 19 at midnight, 8 to 11 p.m. ET, on CBS. UK viewers will be able to watch the early morning live stream on the Emmys website, Facebook page or YouTube channel. It is also likely the full ceremony will be broadcast on a Sky Channel on the Monday evening. Another news, Piers Morgan has denied rumors that he would go back to Good Morning Britain, and has signed up for a big global project. The former ITV show host sensationally quit on air in March after criticizing the Duchess of Sussex over her Oprah interview. He celebrated on Wednesday after Ofcom confirmed he was within his rights to give his opinions on Meghan Markle. The media watchdog made a landmark ruling that cleared him this week with some ITV staff expecting him to return. The hit show has seen their ratings plummet since his departure, with viewers missing his on-screen back and forth with co-host Susanna Reid. But sources have claimed that there are no current plans to bring him back, with the presenter, 56, saying he will not return. Speaking to the Daily Mail, he said, I put that post on social media asking if I'd get my job back to prove a point. I wouldn't go back, not without a public apology and I'm not going to. Get one. I've got much bigger things coming up. The future is exciting. The next project is global, it's big. I can't say what but people are going to hear about it within the next few weeks." Piers stepped down from hosting the program after saying he didn't believe Meghan was telling the truth in the bombshell Oprah chat. He also slammed his former bosses for a statement they released after Ofcom's ruling. He jokingly quipped online, do I get my job back after the ruling was made public? ITV said co-star Susanna Reid as well as program makers, had provided the balance and context that was key in mitigating against the potential for harm and offense caused by peers. He said in a furious tweet, Hmm, ITV have just put out a statement saying I only won the Ofcom case against Princess Pinocchio because my colleagues expressed different opinions to mine. That's not what the Ofcom report says in its conclusion. I suggest ITV reads it again. The watchdog said the comments made by peers were potentially harmful and offensive. However, they ultimately ruled that GMB was not in breach the broadcasting code. Piers claims Meghan had written directly to ITV chief Dame Carolyn McCall demanding his head on a plate. The royal complained to ITV after Piers said he didn't believe her claims to have had issues with her mental health, or that she was suicidal when pregnant with Archie. In the interview, Meghan told how life as a royal became unbearable and she didn't want to be alive anymore. But speaking during a show broadcast the day after the chat aired, Piers ranted, I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. I wouldn't believe a weather report if she read it. The fact she has expressed an onslaught against our royal family is contemptible. Piers stepped away from GMB after refusing to apologize to the Duchess. His diatribe received the most Ofcom complaints in a decade.